Welcome back to Stoneblock, and we're in front of our smelter because our smelter's making us some nickel. Nickel is quite useful. Um, in this case, we're going to actually be blending it to uh, to make invar. In fact, <laughs> I forgot there was iron in there, so all my nickel got converted into invar. E e okay, so we're getting invar directly. Um, I was going to just pulverize some iron, and uh, we can do this over here. I created a separate pulverizer. Pulverize some iron and uh, getting a couple of ingots of nickel. We could have uh, basically smelted in bar, but uh, the smeltery will do it just as well, uh, even accidentally. But I have more than enough stacks of iron that this does not matter. In fact, I'm not going to need any more molten in bar or any more in bar for the rest of the game, I don't think. Wow, that's quite a lot. So, uh, with that in mind, we've got a few things. Uh, let me just put that goal back for a second. Uh, today, we're going to be heading towards applied energistics. And for applied energistics, what we actually need is a puddle. And just to get started, that is. And we need some uh, bits and pieces. So, nether quartz, charged surface quartz, and redstone. Pop them together. Uh, pop them together. And they should start converting into... Uh, this stuff, flux crystal. We need flux crystal to do anything else. Now, if you don't have a lot of charge surface quartz, you can convert regular surface quartz using a charger, which is the Platinistics 2 thing. Uh, we don't actually need those. We get it, we're getting it from sifting, so that is straightforward. And I pretty much have a couple of stacks of flux crystals now. Good. So uh, with that go being limited by ME's 8 device uh, limit, you need this controller block. So the controller block uh, is some pure flux crystals. So that's going to be us converting things again because we need flux seeds, which is essentially some sand and flux dust. And flux dust is uh, just pulverized flux crystal. So while we're doing other things, I'm just going to pop in the uh, little flux crystal, well, one stack of it. And we'll just convert it up. And it would be ideal if I can get some sand as well, although they're all being processed into dust right now. So what I could do is just temporarily uh, at least uh, disable the outputs on this, and it should start building it with sand. Yep, there we go. I'll eventually have all parallel setups just to output sand and dust at the bottom, etc. But for now, you're making Fluix dust. With the flux that's been made, um, you now need to go and think about some sky stone blocks. And these are a relatively simple thing to get done. We just have to get some sky stone, which needs lava and sky stone dust. And it goes through a stone barrel, just like we've got here, but with water. So let's make a stone barrel, first of all. Uh, in fact, hang on, do I already have... I'm almost sure I have something around here. Yes that is actually doing what we want already. So we just need to put some skystone dust in the top, I think. I didn't already start this, so let's just grab a stack from up there. Uh, I can't actually reach that high. <laughs> now I've got a couple of stacks probably, yeah. Never quite figured out with uh, these basic drawers that um, whenever I click to get one stack, uh, a lot of the time it just gives me two. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm just really slow or if that's just, uh, it's just the way it works. Let's just put it in the uh, hopper. Okay, and you should see it starting to convert to sky stone really quite quickly, or at least to start with, it'll be quite quick. Now, we don't need a lot of it, at least to start, but we do need to just smelt it up to get our sky stone blocks. Straightforward, uh, we've got 11 sky stone, so let's just go and put that in our um, diamond furnace. At some point, we want to convert this over to a you know, regular furnace. We don't need the fuel-based furnaces anymore. We can get, get away with uh, using electricity. Ooh, we've got some cooked chicken. Uh, we can get away with electricity, but um, that's just nice and cheap for now, even though we have wireless uh, power. Okay, so have we finished with our stuff here? Yes, we've got 64 Fluix dust. And, well, we've got 38 sand. I'm just going to just... Um, Output to the bottom. Why aren't you leaving? Yes, you are leaving. Good. Just taking a little little while. And I'm just going to make half a stack. Okay. So for this, I've turned my rig of magnetization. I've put it in, in my bag so that I don't rip this stuff out here. I'm not sure if this one's instant. I do need to check. Uh, are you going to be instant? 
Uh, let's see. Flux seed. Flux dust. Actually, flux. Um, oh, it's just crafted. It's not dropped into the water. Oops, silly me. Easier to do then. So we're just going to craft some of you. Some of you. And now we've got 64 flux seed. All right. Now, flux seed is the one I think that you need to leave in water for quite a while. Uh, into a puddle of water to make it faster. Uh, yes, this is the one we need to leave it quite a while, unless you have an enrichment chamber or a phytogenic insulator. Now, one of the first steps along this is to be able to, well, I could just put it in water. There's no harm in doing that, but I'd like to be able to do it faster than that, really. We can use crystal growth accelerators. Let me just double check those. Um, crystal growth chamber is the expanded version, if you like. That just puts it in a single chamber. You don't have to worry about uh, putting things down. Uh, flux block. We can't, or we do already have some of that. We could do a crystal growth accelerators. I thought I'd best get into mechanism as well, though. Mechanism, we can use that enrichment chamber. Okay, build this. We didn't steal, but we've been making steel, so that's not a problem. And we also need to make these basic control circuits, and they're in the metallurgic infuser, so we have to get to the metallurgic infuser as well. Thankfully, though, that's just redstone on the left, and osmium. Now, we're going to need quite a little bit of osmium, but we're getting that from sifting as well, uh, somewhere, I would have thought. Hmm, copper, tin, osmium. Okay, so, stack of osmium, and yet again... Ah, uh, and this is still full of invar. Uh, yeah, let me just put some uh, some osmium in there. And why don't I just rework this to automatically export invar? Uh, just grab that for a second, and let's get rid of all three of these things. There we go, and put them back. Um, where's the fluid duct? There it is. There it goes. So that's going to start just exporting whatever's at the bottom, which is the invar. And of course, the uh, everything else will pop in at the top in a second. We've got some pulsating iron. That was just an accidental com uh, an accidental um, alloying of iron and um, probably presumably ender pearls, but that's uh, fine. Let's put the rest of this in here. Osmium is basically the, the, the metal that we're going to be using quite a lot for um, for mechanism-based stuff. So we just need one block's worth. I'm just going to change it to the bottom, grab one block, and then we'll go back and build the rest. Now, what does the rest of the enrichment chamber need? It needs steel. So we're going to need four steel for one machine, and eight for two. I think I have some being produced. Yep. In steel and slag, and up here we are making... Uh, Cold coke. Uh, at the side and behind that wall there, I've just got a drum that's automatically exporting the creosote from here. So this is now entirely automatic. It's not going to stop. Okay, uh, invar. I don't need the invar. Um, let me just grab the osmium, though. Osmium we do need. Okay, and let me just make sure I have enough glass. I'm just going to make a little bit more glass uh, from this sand. Okay. In Richmond Chamber. Fine. So we need two basic control circuits through a metallurgic infuser. And that is two furnaces, four iron and one osmium, which should be relatively easy to actually make. Um, just make some furnaces. Don't really see again. It's just giving me two stacks when I only really wanted one stack, but we'll, we'll make it up. Uh, let's get this recipe again. Oh, recipe. And it's a bit of redstone as well. Okay, that's not a problem. And redstone's over here. We can just use the uh, storage scanner, of course, to craft down here. That's not really much of a problem. Uh, so let's just do metallurgic directly. Okay, and I'm just gonna make one and let's get rid of the ingredients and then um, we're going to need to put it down somewhere, aren't we? And then get some power for it. Uh, let me just put it back here near this this uh, pulverizer because we've got power right there. 
There we go. And I'm going to need some redstone. Go into that little gauge. And then we're going to need to convert some osmium over. So a couple of osmium. And plenty of power. And uh, this should convert. You can apply upgrades. The speed upgrades and efficiency upgrades and all kinds of stuff. But we only need two of these to get started. And let's just change this back to enrichment. So two. So uh, yeah, steel casing is just glass and osmium and steel. And then we need some more redstone, but uh, that's fine. So let's just grab four more. And we need to make our steel casing first. So let's make that. Uh, steel. Yeah, we need to convert the steel back, don't we? And let me just while my phone is going off, uh, let me just make one casing just in case yeah that was a no i'm not that, that wasn't intentional i didn't mean that pun honestly enrichment chamber okay so we've got an enrichment chamber we can go back and we can just uh, pop this up here again we've got some um, got some space and that should let us convert the seeds yep into pure pure fluid crystals so the me controller then back to you this has pure flux crystals it has skystone blocks we've got both of those what we don't have is the engineering processor that's going to need inscribers and uh, it's going to need printed engineering circuits and printed silicon those come from essentially uh, an induction smelter which is why i've been making invar it's the easiest way to get them so uh we're going to go and just make an induction smelter first we needs us to make an Invar gear and some copper gears, and then we should be okay there. So let's just go for an induction smelter, and it's useful for all kinds of other stuff. You know, hardened glass, all kind of that kind of stuff comes from induction smelters. So what are we missing? In fact, let me just uh, craft it this side. Uh, do I have an Invar gear already? It looks like I do, maybe? Oh, no. I'm missing the copper gears and the Invar gears. Okay. So, Invar gears. Uh, I have Invar on me, don't I? I thought I grabbed an Invar. Did I put it somewhere else? Hmm. Well, we can also grab some more. There we go. Okay, Invar gear. And it is just a, a four pointed star kind of pattern. Uh, make a couple of them, even though we only need one. And then a couple of copper gears, which is just copper. And again, nothing else. So nice and sensible. I'll just make a couple of these as well. There we go. Copper gears. Induction smelter. Just needs a couple of pieces of sand. Of course it does. And guess what I just actually re-enabled. Um, there we go. We should get a couple of pieces of sand in a second or two. One. <laughs> okay, here we go. And induction smelter. I got the sand, so let's just pop this back over here for a second and we will just find more space. I'll figure out a new place to put them, but we'll do that later. Okay, so induction smelter. So we can now make uh, everything else. Uh, one of the other things we're going to need is probably Invar and uh, various different pieces. We're going to need the various presses. They make the various different processors and stuff like that. Uh, we also need an inscriber itself. So that's the, the block that combines all of these. That's quite nice. And it's just a fluid crystal, a couple of sticky pistons and some iron. Um, sticky pistons, I'm not sure if I've made any of them. So let's just go and see what we're missing. Uh, yes, we're missing the sticky pistons. Now, I'm almost sure we have the regular kind of pistons. Um, yep, which means we can make sticky versions. And we can make an inscriber. Now, you will need, I think, five of those eventually. You can get started with just the one. Yep, there's our inscriber. And that means probably we've got a quest to actually fulfill. Um, in here somewhere. Storage, probably. Yep, inscriber. Uh, let's claim that. And let's see what it gives us. Go on, give me something nice. Oh, so disappointing. <laughs> there we go. Fine. So disappointed. I guess that's fine. Uh, you know what can we do? 
So inscribers then, um, so where should we put these? We're going to need another area, aren't we, for some more power, which means I'm going to need another flux output point at some point, or some, somewhere soon. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it back up here. I know, I know, but uh, it is kind of convenient. Uh, let's see if with this actually, does it actually need power? Maybe, maybe not. No, no, no. It has, it has, it automatically converts to AE power. Fine. So yeah, we'll just need a various bits and pieces to make that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we need the calculation press. Uh, these, this is sort of squats and a block of invar in an induction smelter. I think the others are all pretty much induction smelter recipes. So yeah, it's uh, sort of quartz. It is diamond. It is gold, and it's. Presumably silicon? Silicon. We haven't got any silicon. Thanks very much. Silicon chicken. Oh my. Can we only get it from a silicon chicken? Okay. I'm hoping... We, oh, it's the silicon press as well. It's that you need it for everything. Hmm. Now, one of the sources you can get silicon from, aside from chickens, is also in the loot bags. So I had a look in a few loot bags, probably about 10, and we've got a couple of silicon in there. That's not enough to be sustainable. It doesn't mean I, do, I don't have to wait to record while I'm breeding chickens up. Uh, let's just have a look quickly, actually. Um, what exactly would I need to do to get chickens? Uh, we need a silicon chicken, which is clay and a sand chicken. Fair enough which is snowball chicken and a sand chicken, which is a lapis blue uh, chicken egg. Huh. Okay. Sand chicken is just a regular egg. That's fine. Is there any way I can get a, a... No, that's the only recipe. We need sand chickens, which is straightforward, but snowball chickens and a log chicken. Well, I think that is straightforward. So it's just the lapis. So how do we get a lapis... Okay, fine. So it is not too bad to actually make them. We can just get lapis around a regular egg, and I can do that off camera. That's not uh, too much of an issue. Uh, I don't need any of that. Uh, just while I'm, I've got the rest of them, let's see what's in the others. Some more silicon. Not that uh, I'm going to complain. I don't need Alexa Britannia. I've already got, already got one of those. And in the last two, we've got some gunpowder and... Uh, Bits and pieces, nothing, nothing amazing, but uh, certainly enough. I can just drop it in these uh, these chests for now. Um, get rid of most of this stuff that all also came about out of those boxes, and uh, yeah, a bucket of milk. Not that I need that at the moment. And let's put it away as well. Okay, so silicon and invar. So we're gonna need to get invar from our system. Um, I would have thought a lot of it went down here, yep. So three blocks of invar, um, that's not going to work without me replacing it. So I'm just going to put uh, one there. So was it? Uh, it was diamond, one off. It was gold, one off, which I've got as well. And uh, let's just have a look, what was the rest? So quartz crystal, which is right there. Just one, please. And... Uh, is that just everything apart from silicon? Yes, yeah, so I need four blocks of indoor and then everything else we just about have. There we go. Of course, we will need the more silicon to make to actually manufacture the the actual processes, but that's uh, something we can come back to in a second. Uh, block of aluminium. No, I want the invar, please. Please uh, just solidify, then I can actually use it. Oh wow, that invar is really slow. <laughs> And with four blocks, we should just be able to put that in there and it will make our presses. Or at least the, uh, yep, there we go. So, silicon press, uh, pop that in. It's going to be calculation. Logic, maybe? Or is logic gold? Engineering. And then logic will be gold. Okay, and we've got our four presses. Yep, and another quest complete. So back into storage. Let's claim that and uh, give me something good. Oh, why? Why do we keep getting those? The, 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 the worst 
things in the... No. Oh, never mind. So, uh, yes, now we're going to need the, uh, the various different things. So, for any controller... We're going to want this, which is an engineering processor, which needs a printed engineering circuit, and printed silicon with redstone. This is a diamond, if I remember rightly, yep. Yeah. So engineering press and a diamond, and silicon press and silicon. So we've got a little bit of silicon, and we've certainly got a diamond and some redstone. Uh, so we should be able to make at least that first processor. Um, so silicon press and silicon. There it goes. And this is why you will generally need dedicated inscribers, because each one will just have a permanent silicon press or whatever press uh, attached without any problem. Uh, we won't see it's engineering one, isn't it? So, yep, engineering you and a diamond. And then we'll combine both of those outputs. Yep, you you and you and we should make processor great one processor and now if we have pure flux crystals which we do they've now been made we should be able to make an AME processor uh, the skystone blocks are done now this ME processor ME controller is what I actually meant there we go one ME controller and uh, it's an achievement, but not a quest, really. Uh, I need to make one of each of those for that quest. Ah, it's locked behind the growth acceleration. Yeah, which we skipped because we jumped into mechanism. But uh, crystal growth accelerators are not hard to make. Okay, so now to make those, uh, we just did get the quest open, really. Uh, we're going to need quartz glass, and we're going to need ME glass cable. Uh, we'll eventually move to smart cable, but it's not terribly hard to make. Um, we just want quartz fiber, which again is uh, back to this dust and glass. So how much glass do I actually have in the system, or this system? Uh, I have most of a stack, so let me just get some of that out. And I grab some nether quartz and I put it in a pulverizer, so that should be mostly done now. Well, some of it. Yeah, let's just grab some of it. An uh, achievement, Bejewel 2, fine. And let's go and see if we can craft some of this stuff. So, uh, for this, we want quartz glass, which uh, we can make. Uh, so this quartz dust, no, I actually don't want the recipe. I want the one with nether quartz dust, just because I have uh, it essentially infinitely from chickens. Uh, I'm actually going to want to store that, I think. So I will just make that there. And I'm going to make two batches. So we've got some quartz glass already. With the quartz glass, we also want the other ingredients. Uh, the flux blocks we got as a reward, but they are just, you know, we, they are just crystals which we already have, so that's not a problem. ME glass cable, quartz fiber. And uh, again, we don't want certain quartz dust, we want nether quartz dust. There we go, and let's store that recipe. I do need some more nether quartz dust, of course, uh, but that's not there we go. Not hard. Got more of it cooking up. And that means we can then make quartz fiber. Um, well, actually, we just make it here. Um, yeah, let's just make six for now. And what's the other ingredients for it? It's just flux crystals, which I have. Let me just convert all of those over. There we go, we've got ME glass cable. And we can combine all of that once we have some iron blocks. Okay, so I'm going to need a flux block and some iron ingots. Um, let's grab you. Grab you. Now, we would need six if we wanted to make one of these crystal growth chambers, but because we have mechanism, uh, maybe we'll skip on that. So for now, I'm just going to make one. That'll get us a quest. And the quest... Claim, you're going to give us something good now. You're going to give us something amazing. Please no more of those Futurama tubes. Please no more punchy sticks. <sighs> the 
don't get me wrong, if you like punji sticks, then by all means. Um, <laughs> but uh, for now, yeah, I could do with something better. The next one along is, well, that growth chamber is another quest we could actually open up. But the ME drive leads to the controller. So the ME drive is the first kind of storage sort of block that we have got going. Uh, it's empty, so we need to put uh, basically drives in it. But uh, some of those were given to us as a, as a reward. Uh, so an ME drive, do we have enough to make it yet? Uh, ME drive, they're normally the same components. There is a fixture version, that which means it can stick directly onto cable, and the cable and the fixture are like uh, one block space rather than this, which requires two block spaces, the cable would run behind it. Uh, but I think, remember, yeah, the, the full-size block holds eight drives, the fixture only holds six drives, so I tend to like building things with a full eight. And that needs two engineering processors. Okay, so we already know how to make them and we do have the ability to make that many because I've just got enough, just about enough silicon to finish that off. So let's just grab this, uh, there you are. And I'll probably move these before we get to them uh, again. Oh, it's the engineering press, it needs diamonds. Um, Maybe it's just me holding down the actual button too long and that happens. There we go. So it'll only be one at once, but we'll basically be able to create routing systems with, uh, you know, ductwork or something behind them. And it will make uh, make them automatically once you set those up. But for now, we can do them manually, at least just for this one. And what was that silicon? Uh, silicon? There it is. Sometimes I wish that they did stack up. I think we can get upgrades for them as well. It's been a while, but uh, we can get upgrades. I'm going to need one more piece of redstone. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Printed silicon. We can put those in, put this in, put the redstone, and we should get the full processor. And we'll do the same thing again. Uh, I've already made everything else, so this should be a very, very quick thing once we just finally put these three things in together. I've got the iron, and what was the other ingredients? The glass cable, yeah. Thankfully we don't need the smart cable yet. I think that's wool, or oh, we need to, to think about that. Um, but we'll do that another time, that's not a problem. Right now, and one ME drive. Uh, oops, that's not, still inserting the wrong thing. ME drive, quest, quest. Claim it, and well, I have a controller. I've built one. Uh, where did my controller go? Did I put it in the system? I mean, there's no there's no harm in having another controller. There it is. Okay, claim that as well. And for our final rewards today, let's see how how good these are. Let me just put these back for a second. So I've got room for all that amazing, amazing rewards we're going to get. Are you ready? In Valhammer, I've got one. Okay, second chance. We've got another loot chest. Lithium dust. Lithium dust. How hard is it to get lithium? Lithium dust. Chemical crystallizer. That's a little bit further on. Yeah, that's that's quite far on. What will lithium dust be used for? Unfortunately, we need four of it. <laughs> we got given one of it. Uh, that makes lithium, of course, but um, induction providers. I've not done those in mechanism before, so uh, seems to be horrible, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe it'll help us in future. Don't know. Anyway, we've got to basically implied in logistics now. So we've got an enemy drive. We've got an enemy controller. The only thing we need is um, drives to, to insert into the, the drive. So uh, usually you start with 4K drives. 4K ME storage cells, I should say. And they uh, are something you make with 4 ME storage components, which come from, again, calculation processors, quartz glass, and 1K components, which all come from logic processors. So all of this we can do manually. I just don't want to do it on camera. Um, but it will make our first drives. And we'll start next episode, I think, by starting to insert drives. You also need a, uh, a terminal. And there are crafting terminals, which is the one I generally use. 
As a crafting table, a calculation processor, and an ME terminal. ME terminals need a bit more stuff, uh, formation cores, but as you can see, it's all stuff that we've already made. And the illuminative panel, which is, uh, again, stuff we've already got or can make. So there isn't terribly much going on there. The, the crafting terminal will be just like this, essentially. We'll be able to access the system. The ME uh, cells inside the ME drive will let us store stuff in there. And we can start to reduce all of these storage crates. And then we're going to need to get power into the system as well. So uh, applied, uh, sorry, oops, applied. Uh, there's usually a block that will convert any external power source into, it's like a power, uh, can I actually just put a pipe and power inserter? Does that, does that actually work? No, um, no, it's not working. Uh, there it is, energy acceptor. Yeah. Now we may not need that, it may just automatically work with the ME controller with a, a more one on the side being powered. But if you do use this, you can connect this with uh, the ME cable back to the controller. So I think we may well do that. In any case, we can already make one. In fact, we can already make one of these. Uh, energy acceptor. Yeah, you can already make one, so I may as well make one anyway. And just to show you what I mean, um, let me just, uh, for now, just pop this down here, just before we close the episode. Uh, there is our, our power output. And if you will accept stuff, this is not where I'm, I'm this, this is definitely not where I'm going to put the uh, <laughs> the controller because we need all the sides of it. There we go. And the controller can go there and it's lit up. It's got some power, which means that's working. Let me just test that to see whether we need the acceptor at all. Um, yes, we do. Oh, no, we don't. Nope. It will work directly. Fine. Although that doesn't mean either way you're you know you're using one of the sides for some purpose, and uh, it's the number of sides that you're limited by with with controllers. Of course, we can make more of those. Uh, once we we start into an ME network, it initially won't have auto crafting. That is something we're still going to start out doing manual crafting. But auto crafting will come fairly soon after that point, and everything starts to really speed up once you have that available. In any case, that's going to be another episode. I think uh, I'm fine for now. We've crafted the almighty ME controller, which is uh, sort of, well, it's, it can get to end game uh, stuff really right, quite quickly, but we will need a chamber somewhere to put our ME controller and then start to root cables out from it. Uh, unlike uh, Flux Network for power, you definitely do need cables. You can't do things wirelessly with uh, a planet logistics, uh, at least not except for like a remote crafting terminal. Anyway, if you like the episode, feel free to give it a like, subscribe and share as you normally would, and we'll see you next episode probably with some more ME, uh, setting up our initial storage, importing everything. There's a way to do that quite easily. And then we'll start to think about where to actually put it. Because once it's in the digital storage, you can just take the cells out and move them really easily. They're just, they're just an item in your inventory. Okay, so we'll see you next time. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.